Hey guys, it's Brie with Coffee on Repeat. I'm back, sort of. I mean, I'm, I'm back, but this is probably not the best video to start back off. We moved again. I um, I plan on doing more hydration pack reviews. I have lots of things I want to start reviewing because I'm not just about running here in our new state. Uh, we live near skiing. Well, we would if the weather was less um, warm. It's really unseasonably warm today. So I um, plan on doing more like cross country skiing and running and climbing some high peaks and do a little bit of everything by climbing. I mean, hiking and not actually climbing anything, but you know, going up them, um, did a trail race in October and, uh, Vermont and, uh, starting to get back into ultras again. So lots of fun stuff today. I just wanted to really quick confess that I tried Horos again. I did a review. I'll try to link it back. I did two reviews and uh, about the pace, which uh, update, the pace gets worse the older it gets, but I only keep this as a backup watch. I am here to talk about the Apex Pro 2, or not the Pro, not the 2, this is the Pro. Um, they have the Pro 2. I don't know if this problem is in the Pro 2. I am not going to find out. This is my second and last Coros because I'm just, I'm not really a fan. I am... Um, the reason I stumbled on the Coros is because I had an instinct. This is my husband's instinct. I had the uh, solar and I was having massive issues with that, uh, the um, altimeter. It was so off that they actually bought it back. I had to scramble and get a watch like last minute and uh, they were shipping fast. So I got the um, this one and I, I kind of was okay with it for a couple weeks. And then I slowly kind of like disliked a little bit more and a little bit more. And then now I'm just kind of very verbal about how much I'm not a fan of it. Um, and I realized yesterday the exact reason why this watch bothers me so much. And now that I know what it is, it can't be fixed. So I have to decide what to do with this watch because I, I can't wear it anymore. It's just, it's unwearable for me. And let me explain. This is the uh, Pace, the original Pace. And if you see the back of it, it's nice and smooth here. The heart rate monitor does not stick out. The same with the Instinct, nice and smooth. It has a little bit, it sticks out a little bit for the optical sensor part right here, but nice and smooth. This one doesn't count because it's non Howard right? but that's the one I'm going back to for now. Apex Pro, <laughs> why? Okay, so first you got this part that sticks out here, but then you have this other ring, which is very, very hard and it sticks out. Uh, does not take a whole lot of pressure on this thing to leave a mark. It does not. So the problem is when you wear something as an activity monitor and you wear it to run a lot, after a while, you start to realize it's getting uncomfortable. And yesterday I looked down and realized that I literally have a, um, I have this, like this red bruised rashy spot. And I was like, why is my wrist so bruised there? And then I looked at the watch, flipped it around and like, do all watches have that? So then I went on this rabbit hole looking at all these different brands on the back of their watches and what their sensor looks like. And I realized this, this is not, this is, this is a hundred percent of the reason why I'm so grumpy about this watch. A hundred percent because this metal bit is uncomfortable and I have very small wrists. They're five and a half inches. And no matter where I position this thing, it works its way down to the same spot, right at the base of my wrist bone. And it just, it pushes down. I've tried putting it up on my wrist. I've tried switching wrists. No matter what I do, um, it's really uncomfortable. I can wear it on top of a shirt for a little bit longer, but then you don't get all your data. Uh, you have to remember to turn the heart rate tracking off. It becomes a whole big thing. So if you're kind of, I'm not going to say I have sensitive skin, but this is, I mean, after a while it would bug, I think almost anybody. Um, my husband even was like, uh, yeah, that's kind of ridiculous. So this right here, this little sensor thing where it's sticking up right there, that's why I don't like the Coros Pace the most reasons. I um, I have other reasons. I actually have a laundry list of reasons, but we're gonna focus on that's the one reason that cannot this cannot be fixed with software. This is a hardware issue. Um, this to me makes this watch uncomfortable and unusable. And um, I'm gonna have to go back to my old my old phoenix because i would rather wear something that had less technology that was at least a little bit more comfortable than something that's gonna like leave like bruises so sorry guys i'm not a fan of the coros i don't think they have the exact same sensor on the new one but i still think that they have a 
a raised bit, which is metallic and not smooth. So I'm not really, I'm not really going to give them any more money and try Cause I, I buy all my watches and, uh, it's not cheap. I mean, even the new, the old ones, you can still buy these. Um, they're not cheap, but I, I mean, yeah, sorry. I'm sure I'll get some angry comments below about like how great Koros is and I'm glad it's working for you, but for me, it's not working. On the other hand, if you have any watch suggestions, let me know. I am hoping to do some ultras this year, but I want something that's also good for skiing, um, hiking, snowshoeing. I'm hoping by saying these like ski words, the snow will come. I'm looking out the window at the mountain, mountain behind my house and I'm looking at the small patch of snow that's left and I'm just like, please, can we get some snow, please? Um, but that's it. Have a great one.